Hello, my name is Marchens. How are you doing today? Trust you good. So, of course, this is Coach Daniel, and as usual, I'm here to teach you something that will help you in your business. All right, today I'm going to teach you how you can use emotion to sell to your customers. Now, there are 10 things you need to know, which is why I want to show you today. Number one, please pay attention. If you want to use emotion to sell to your customers, you must first of all emphasize the benefits. Don't just talk about the product, talk about the benefits. For instance, this is activated charcoal soap, and this is one I use a lot. Now, one of the benefits of this is the fact that by the time I use it, it takes off all the body odors from me. I know if I sweat a lot too, but when I use it, it makes my body cool. And so this is how you should communicate the product to your customers. Don't just talk about the ingredients. People are not interested in the ingredients. They are more interested in how the product would be of benefit to them. Number two, share customers' testimonials. It's important for you to always get reviews and testimonials from your customers which you can share to people both on your community platform and on Facebook and to people when people see what the product has done for other people they will be willing to buy. Number three, create a sensory experience. What do I mean? Once in a while, ask people to come to you or you go meet them, organize a program where people will have, you know, have a taste of it. You can give out free samples to people so that they can have a sensory experience of the product before they buy. And trust me, when people have a sensory experience of the product, they will be willing to buy. Number four, use evocative language. Now, the opposite of evoke is provoke. Now, when somebody wants to provoke you, all you just need is to use a particular word and it will make you angry. But this time around, you want to use evocative words that will attract your customers. So when you use something like nourish, when you use words like detox, for example, this product, activated black charcoal, it detoxes your body and removes all kinds of body odor from you. All right? Number five, appeal to cultural value. Do you know you can actually use your language to sell your product? Now, for instance, there's a particular merchant I watch and she used PG to sell her product. Um, um, I was really taken away. How many people on social media do you find using that language? Imagine if you are a guy, if you are Igbo, if you are Yoruba, if you are Aousa, all right, and you are Benin, you use your language to sell the product. And of course, when people hear the language, it will appeal to them. This is very important. So, this is something you can use. Now, number six, build a personal connection. Now, in this aspect, it's important for you to tell the story of the founder of this product. Sometimes when you tell the story, it builds a connection with them, how the product started and what drives her and why she has created this product and what she wants this product to do and her overall vision. When you share the story of the founder of this product, it has a way of driving people to want to patronize you. All right, now number seven, offer personalized recommendation. What I mean here is, people will ask you questions, people will make inquiries. You can always provide solutions to them, and then you now recommend products. It means that you have to know all the products, you have to master them. And so when people ask you questions, you say, okay, for this as a product, this is what I would recommend. And that is how you sell product because you become like a, a consultant. People will be asking you questions, people want to know about the product. You should be able to do that. Then, number eight, use visually appealing packaging. You know, of course, humans will like packaging. We like packaging a lot. So it's important for you when you are packaging your product, let it be something that will appeal to your audience, especially when you want to. Sometimes when you are in your shop, you are packaging your product, you want to deliver to your customer. Choose something that is visually appealing, something that is very attractive because every human wants to feel special. And so when you put something in a very special packaging, they will feel honored and people will patronize you. All right, it appeals to people's emotion. Then number nine, create a sense of urgency. 
Now, in this aspect, you have to learn how to create sense of urgency. For example, when you say, when you create discount and you create a limited offer between so and so time and so and so time, and you, by the time you do that consistently, people will know that, okay, that's what they call um, form of fear of missing out. When you create a sense of urgency, people will not want to miss out in that, in that promo. And when you do that, people will be willing to buy. All these things appeal to people's emotion. Then finally, foster a sense of community. How do you do that? For those of you who have customers that are close to you, once in a while you can organize physical events, all right? You can organize programs. You can organize online classes, online programs as well that you can use to market the product and create a sense of belonging amongst your community. So that will build trust among them. And when people trust you, they will be willing to buy from you. I hope you've learned something today. All right, so I'll come away next time. My name is Coach Daniel Campbell.